What's going on there, friends and neighbors? Shin Rob Jira here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Godzilla 1954 2019 reissue figure from the Bandai Movie Monster series of figures. Now, this is probably going to be one of the shortest new figure reviews that I will ever do because there really isn't much to talk about with this figure. If you have a 1954 Godzilla Bandai figure, you essentially have this figure, but you know, better. For example, on the left is the new boy, on the right is the original boy. As you can see, the newer figure is a bit more of a muted gray, which is nice, but the highlights on his knees, chest, claws, and toes are completely gone. In fact, for whatever reason, this guy has a huge smudge of a highlight on top of his head, whereas the original has a tiny highlight on the top of his head. One thing I will say that I really enjoy about the reissue figure is that the dorsal plates really pop. With the original one, they're a little bit more muted, and while that is a cool little feature, I do like my dorsal plates, you know, bright, out there, cool looking. It's not to say the original isn't cool looking or anything like that, I'm just saying I prefer the paint. In fact, regarding the dorsal plates, I feel as if there was a bit of an update done to them. I feel the dorsal plates on the newer figure have deeper curves than the original. I know that's a very weird thing to say, but looking at a dorsal plate like this, and then looking at its original counterpart, it seems a little less, uh, you know, sharp and angular. So I guess that's one thing you can say that the new figure does differently. Another thing would be actually having the eyes pointing in the same direction. Yeah? And, uh, the teeth. Uh, the newer one has yellower teeth, and the original has white teeth. And as far as an updated mold goes, I really think this is the same mold with maybe a few differences about it. Nothing too crazy. At first, I thought the legs were different, but I think this guy's legs just got warped in shipping or whatever. Easy fix. Bandai, please, can you just... Paint all the way to the tip of the tail, please. This is starting to get bullshit. But yeah, speaking of tail, you're going to get the same tail on the reissue figure. Same angle. Maybe a little bit longer? I don't know. And then, of course, the only other new thing you are going to get on this figure is the new tag. Godzilla 2019-1954 has the dorsal spines cut out on the side of the tag. Pretty much it. I guess you could just call this a 65th anniversary reissue. Very nice, but there really isn't much of a reason to buy this figure if you have one already. But anyway, in terms of articulation... Arms are going to go all the way around, and since there's no paint on these arms or legs, you can pretty much rough them up however much you wish. And I don't believe the tail moves. No, the tail will bend before it moves. Did it even move on the original? Oh, yes, it, uh, it did. Okay, well. <clears throat> So I guess my word of advice to any collectors out there that saw that this came out and are thinking about picking it up, really only pick it up if you really need a new 1954 figure or if you just need a 1954 figure overall. I would actually just suggest getting the green tagged version or whatever version of this figure you can. On eBay, they probably go for 20, 30 bucks, which is around the same you'll probably be spending on that figure with shipping included. Other than that, it's... Probably the most basic Bandai Movie Monsters series reissue that we've gotten so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the sentiment, but could you at least make it seem like you give a shit, Bandai? You know, I love Bandai. That is, like, that's my section of the Godzilla Collector's Corner that I like to reside in. I love Bandai figures, I've always loved Bandai figures, and I will always buy Bandai figures, but... This is probably the laziest one we've gotten, and that says a lot. I mean, I know I really shouldn't be expecting too much, but we got a blotch on the head, we got the eyes, we got the teeth, we got half of the dorsal plates, nothing on the tail, nothing on the knees, nothing on the chest, nothing on the fingernails, nothing on the feet, nothing. It's like, yeah, I know this was probably just pushed out for Godzilla's 65th anniversary, but Bandai, don't you think this would have been a good time to, like, you know, really pump out something new, something different? I mean, shit, you could have given us Godzilla raids again, as a figure instead of the same 1954 mold that we've seen for years now. But I can't complain too much. The figure does have some nice details. Uh, again, I really do like the dorsal plates and how they pop. The other paint choices, I mean, yellow teeth doesn't bother me. Straightforward eyes is nice and the new tag is great. I just don't understand why this thing has a splotch of white on his head. You know, I don't think splotch is the right word for whatever this is that's a splotch that's a mistake that's a kitchen mistake right there yet again this is the original figure well at least one of the original figures and this is the reissue i'm gonna be posting some pictures up here not so much with the size comparison because you know 
same size. Yeah, that is the 2019 reissue of the Bandai Godzilla 1954 figure. If you're a major Bandai collector, I really don't think you need to pick this figure up because it's very basic. I kind of just did it because I, I, I'm an idiot. I'm the Godzilla critic. I buy bad figures, so you don't have to. <laughs> Boo! Again, the lack there of paint, I was expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it to be so much of a carbon copy of the original. I was hoping for at least a few differences, but uh, I guess we're lucky we're getting figures like this anyway. Hopefully Bandai's December releases, Final Wars Gigan and Anguirus, will provide better results. Yes, I will be talking about those figures when they finally release. I will be cramming them both into one video so you can get everything you need to know about them all in one place. Yeah, that's it. I have been Shin Rob Jira. Do hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you you all next time. Yeah. See you next week, everybody. Bye.